Hi everybody, I just wanted to come on and talk to you real quick um, because yesterday was kind of a weird day and um, I wanted to talk about it a little bit um, because I shared this weirdness with other people, um, one other person in particular. Um, and um, okay, so I am a activity director at a long-term care facility and so I oversee this department and um, I have employees. I have like, right now I have three um but i usually have about five um employees that i look over and oversee um anyways one of the girls that i i i um <laughs> i was coming back in from my lunch break yesterday and i was going back upstairs onto the floor and um i thought to myself i should bring these fake flowers upstairs all i have to do is find some vases and um we can make centerpieces for the tables with the pretty flowers for spring and um anyways <laughs> ashley comes in my um my activity assistant she comes in at two o'clock and she's carrying a box and i'm like oh hey what's up girl and she's like not much um i have a donation for you and i was like oh what's up and she's like my sister's moving i have a box full of vases for you <laughs> i'm like what i'm like dude i just brought these flowers upstairs to make centerpieces with the flowers like and i just said i need to find vases and then you just show up with a box of vases like what's up i thought i was gonna have to go and buy some but here you are and then i am in the back room and i'm getting the mail and other things that like had come because i think the mail comes after i deliver it in the morning so i always check my mailbox a second time just to see if anything else has come so that i can give it to the residents um if i have time and i think of it um and I did. So I went back there to check my voicemail and to check the mail. And I thought to myself, oh, while I'm back here, I should make some more word searches, um, some copies of word searches. So I took out the thing of word searches that I have to make copies of all of them. I have like 100 different word searches that I just make co or 200 different word searches that I make copies of for them that are like large print and like easy. So they're not like diagonal or anything. They're just like straight across or down. Um, and it's really awesome. Goldencarers.com is where I get those from. Um, Goldencarers.com. Um, I think I pay like $50 or $60 a year for unlimited access, but they do have, you can for free have access for a bunch of stuff. And I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm just giving you my tips anyways. So I make copies of the word searches and I go back over to Ashley and I give, you know, I'm about to put them on the cart and she goes, Ooh, that's weird. And I'm like, what? And she goes, I was just thinking to myself and I was just said to the nurse that like, I needed to ask you for more word searches. And I'm like, <laughs> you're joking, right? I'm like, dude, this is the second time today that something freaky weird has happened between me and you, you know, the same, the same person. And she's like, yeah, dude. And it happened in front of other people too. So they were able to see this weirdness. And um, it's not that I need other people to see what I'm going through to verify. It just, I mean, I guess my ego tells me I do, but I know it's not true. You know what I mean? Like, ego says verify me, you know, um, verify that you're right, because how could you be right? It's that, nah, 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 nah. you know, I'm not who I, how, who I've thought I have been this entire time. And um, it's just crazy. <laughs> we all are so much more connected than we realize. And um, this life is just freaking amazingly beautiful if we let it be. And um, you really have to just open your mind. And that's why I say you have to lose your mind to find yourself because you literally have to open your mind up and be willing to get hurt and be willing to feel like an idiot sometimes because and you have to be willing eventually you get to a place where like you're able to like hold space for yourself like in those moments you're able to hold space for different people so that it doesn't affect you in the same way. It's like Josh says some really my 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 whatever you want to call him, my daughter's father, um, he, he has a way of, like, when we get in a fight, he'll say things that are really hurtful, he'll say things like, um, you know, you're just like your mother, you have to run away from your children to find yourself, which that's a really big one, that one really hurt in the beginning. He was saying that, and it bothered me, and so he kept saying it. 
whenever we got in a fight. But the minute that I started to love myself and recognize that my mother left because she loved herself, because she wanted to, because she loved us enough to walk away because she could see that the whole entire situation was unhealthy. She could see that nothing good was coming out of her staying. She could see that she, she needed a change because she, if she kept living like this, like she, she literally felt numb. She, she was ready to kill herself, you know? And so with that space in your heart, knowing that's where she felt, and that she left so that she didn't die, so that she could be a mother for me, so that she could be there for me here and now in the future when I needed her to be there for me, to affirm to me that I'm not crazy, that she knew since I was born that I was destined for greatness. Like, that's what I need to hear right now. And my mom's here to tell me that if she was dead, she wouldn't be. So believe that everything happens for a reason. Because it really does. Even if you don't believe it's for your best interest, it really is. Always. And always. <laughs> but yeah, things are starting to get really weird. <laughs> um, it's like I hear people's thoughts, but they sound like my own. If that makes sense. It sounds like it's my own thought, but it's somebody else's. Like, I thought I should go and do word searches. I was picking up on Ashley's word search thing. Or maybe she was picking up on my words. It's like, it's like, was I picking up on Ashley, the fact that she was bringing me vases, and that's why I brought the flowers upstairs? Or was she picking up on the fact that I was bringing the flowers upstairs, and she brought the vases? I mean, her sister was moving regardless, right? But when did it manifest? We don't know. In e each of our own realities, we really don't know like what each person is experiencing in that moment until we draw it into our experience. And then in that moment, what is it? That's what I've been feeling. It's like this universe is not what you think. It's like each one of us has our own experience. And it's completely like whatever. Like if you separate yourself from what other people think and believe you're able to then manifest easier because you're not believing other people's bullshit. Just yours. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to come on and tell you guys about these weird psychic phenomena, or how about how I almost had a bird land on me the other day. I was walking. It looked like a beautiful, it wasn't a regular pigeon. It was a beautiful pigeon. It like it, had beautiful beautiful color in it it did not look like a regular city pigeon it looked like a beautiful majestic pigeon from like egypt or something <laughs> um and yeah beautiful majestic bird and like i'm like oh my god land on me it kept like circling back around my head and i'm like come on land on me land on me and um anyways a truck ended up coming by and like scaring it off and then i gave up but it almost landed on me. And right after church the other day, um, when we went to church for Easter, after church, I went outside and I was like, oh my God, mom, look, there's a hawk. The hawk flew down above our head about a foot, did a circle around our heads. And then sure as shit, I was like, I started telling her about the other day at work and how when I said, hey guys, look at the hawk, another one showed up. And as I was telling her the story, another hawk showed up. And I was like, this is not a fucking coincidence. So I fucking put my hands to the sky and was like praising them. Like, my gods, like, ah, I love you. You know, raw, I love you. I love you. We are one. We are all one living this beautiful existence together. And if you vibrate love and just that loving awareness, animals start to connect to you like they're connecting to me they're feeling that loving vibration and i'm wondering like when i connected to the ets right there was these three star beings that came and now i was thinking about it i was like wasn't there like some kind of star that leaded the wise men to jesus and wasn't it three wise men um that three is showing up again you know um just put that out there it's just three is a very magical number um it's birth 
um, life and death, essentially, you know? And you have to remember that, like, we don't die. Energy doesn't die. It just transforms into something different. So think about it. Like, if you, essentially, an animal, our bodies, right? If we die and we start to decompose, we turn back into the earth, literally. Which then helps to create our food that we eat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's an ongoing life cycle. So when you guys feel like the world's ending, just remember, like, we don't die. We are reborn, like, and I'm not a Christian, so just so you guys know. I mean, like, if you are, good for you. I mean, I can see why you would be, because Jesus is awesome, you know, but I am not religious. I am a spiritualist. I am, I identify more with paganism than any other religion. Uh, I consider myself an earth-based spiritualist, just for the record that was more for myself than for you <laughs> and i love how i said that exactly at 11 11 uh i love you guys have a great day and um keep being you like don't worry about what other people think about you you know keep being who you are and um even if you feel like a, a shadow of a doubt that you're wrong just affirm yourself that like i am what i am i am one with great spirit i am with one with the great mystery i am one with the universe i am one with god i am one with whatever you want to say you know whatever you resonate whatever resonates with you you know like i said this is my experience your experience is your experience and that's what i'm seeing throughout this whole entire thing is that like i could be having one experience and you could be experiencing something 100 percent different I go back to that example of my coworker with the grocery store. She's telling me that all the grocery stores are out of food. And I looked at her and I thought to myself, that's okay. When you went, the grocery stores were out of food. But when I get to the grocery store, there will have just been a delivery and they will have everything that I need. Through my positive thinking and affirmations and my intuition, I chose the store that just had a delivery. I didn't say the store in my head when I said that and I didn't have one in mind it was just like when I got out of work I went to the store that I felt like you know I don't know I've always kind of guided with my intuition I have to be honest with you like the reason why I chose the job that I chose was because of my intuition everyone was telling me that I needed to pick a job for money and I was like I cannot work for money I have to work and do something that I enjoy doing or I'm gonna fucking kill myself <laughs> because Life doesn't make sense to me because the system does not make sense to me. We shouldn't be forced to do this shit. Like, we are nature. We should be able to be like the animals and live in nature without having to pay money and, like, worry about people. And, like, we should just be happy and living together with one another and, like, as communities and helping each other. Because, essentially, we are all one. And if we all just start to recognize that and we start to treat our Earth like we would want to be treated, start to treat people like we would want to be treated... And we just keep pushing that energy out there into the universe. We're going to make a huge impact. And hold that space for love whenever you can. Even if somebody's judging you. Look at them. And just know that they've forgotten. They don't know. So do not take what they say to heart. Because they have forgotten who they are. Really. They have forgotten. Do not take it personal. Remember your truth. I'm tearing up because it hits home for myself. And I know that it does for you guys. Because we're one. I love you guys. And keep shining bright because, you know, we are the change that we've been waiting to see. We are that generation. I fucking believe that 100%. I love you guys. Have a great day. Sorry for my tears of joy. <laughs> well, I'm not sorry, really. Love you. <laughs>